So now that we've seen how to create text animation automatically with presets, let's dig a little deeper and see how to animate text manually. Again, I'll be using the animating text project from the chapter nine folder. And what I'm gonna do here, actually let's center this so we can see our text well. I'm gonna open up the text layer. And as we've previously seen, most layers have this transform category. Text layers have this additional text category with this animate flyout. And this is the key folks. First thing you need to do is you need to click this flyout and select an attribute of the text you want to animate. In this case, I'm going to choose scale. Now, once you select something to animate, you create something called an animator. The minimum requirements for an animator is that it must contain a property to animate, in this case, scale. And it also must include something called a range selector. The range selector determines how much of the text is affected by this adjustment. So by default, all of our text falls within the range selector. So as we increase the scale, then all the characters scale up. Notice that this is significantly different than increasing the scale of the layer, which would increase the entire body of text as one. The scale for text animation is a little bit more intelligent and each character scales up individually. So as I mentioned, all of our characters are being scaled up because they all fall within the range selector. So let's adjust the range selector. I'm gonna open up range selector and I have start, end, and offset. So let's say we want to scale up the word after. So I take down end and as I do, you'll notice that the last few characters of effects are scaling down until I get to just after. Now, if I wanted just the beginning, I could adjust the start value. I can also come up here to the composition panel and grab these little dividers, these vertical lines. These are the visual representations of the range selector. So I can click and drag these around my text if I wanted to as well. Now, let's say I have a small range selection with just a few characters here. I could move the offset value, which will move that small selection area of just a few characters through my text if I wanted to create kind of like a wave animation. Now we could add new animators, but this would create both new properties and new range selectors. If we want to add another property to this same range selector, then we go to the add flyout menu. Let's say we want these same characters as they're scaling to rotate. So we could select add property rotation. Now as we rotate this, automatically all the characters that are getting scaled are getting rotated as well. Now as I mentioned, this is a complicated beast and we're only scratching the surface here, but one other thing I want to show you, you could also add a new selector to the same animator. There's also different types of selectors. In our case, we're going to choose a wiggly selector. A wiggly selector is basically a selector that has a mind of its own. It takes the attributes that you've assigned, in this case, scale and rotation, and applies random values using the numbers that we've put in for scale and rotation. And it only operates within the range selector. So right now, our range selector is from the capital E to the lowercase e in effects. And if I hit play, if I hit the space bar, even though I haven't created any keyframes, all of the characters within this range selector are getting scaled and rotated. And the scale and rotation values are completely random thanks to that zany wiggly selector. So as you can see, with all of the properties to animate and with all of the different types of selectors, the world is your oyster with text animation and After Effects. In the next week, we're going to look at how to animate text in 3D space.